Thank you. How about those two million bikers that descended on Washington, D.C. a couple weeks ago, huh? <laughs> September 11. That was the wrong day for a group of Muslims to decide they were going to try to shame the USA. Yes, it was. When those American bikers roared into town, the Million Muslim March became, what, what was it, the 25 Muslim March? <laughs> Which begs the question, why have we not been doing this all along? For 20 years, the enemies of freedom have been kicking our butts. Why? Because many Americans have been too polite to openly challenge the left even when we knew they were doing and promoting things that were shameful. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be journalists. <laughs> we allowed journalism and Hollywood and the colleges and our public schools to fall into the hands of the most bigoted anti-American hate mongers in the world. And they are now driving our nation into the sewers of immorality, corruption, and economic suicide. Well, it's about time for us to stop being so polite about them wrecking our country. The United States Marine Corps wins battles because they are trained to advance towards the gunfire. Now, if we're going to win the battle for the heart and soul of America, then we need to advance aggressively right in the faces of the left-wing, liberal, anti-American enemies of freedom. And those bikers showed us how to do it. No more kid gloves. It's time to go bare knuckle with these people. Their weapons are lies and slander. How many people here have been called racist because you love the USA? Now raise both hands. This way Nancy Pelosi can't say we were given a Nazi salute. <laughs> okay, here's something for you to think about. The most powerful weapons that we have to defeat the enemies of freedom are the two things that the liberal left fear more than anything else, God and country. Those two things were the blueprint for the success of the United States. Genuine faith in the one true God, the kind of faith that built this nation established our laws and set the moral tone. One nation under God. And genuine American patriotism. Love for this nation brought about by true knowledge of this nation's history. And love and respect for our Constitution. Those two things have the power to completely destroy the liberal agenda in America. And, and that is why they fight so hard to stomp those out and to crush those values out of our children. It's time for Americans to once again raise the banner of God and country and march it right back into the public square where it was for the first 150 years. For we are not ashamed that we are one nation under God. Who's with me? Thank you for inviting me and we will talk some more in a little bit.